Hey everyone, I'm Sim Sweetie, and welcome to part 7 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get to Work. So before I jump on into gameplay, I do want to address a couple things. I did switch um, Antonio and Lucia's traits a little bit because I, I, I almost feel like something glitched and it changed it on its own or I just, I messed up and forgot, I don't know. But I did go ahead and give Antonio the, where is it? family oriented trait right there because it goes along with his lifetime wish and I gave Lucia the ambitious trait so yeah I did switch those and then the other thing is I went ahead and put up one of the pictures that they took at the party and the reason I didn't put two up is because this is the other one so we're gonna go ahead and sell that for the two simoleons it is worth but, um, other than that, Lucia does not have any work today, so they're pretty much free to hang out and do whatever. And Antonio's painting to make some simoleons, and we can go ahead and get started now. So, also, you know, we- oh, and this part is pre-filmed. I have not posted part 6 yet, but I'm probably gonna post that tonight, so this is technically pre-filmed, though. A, uh, <clears throat> my voice decided to disappear on me for half a second, but the other thing is we have definitely made an effort to make some money, but we're still really far away from being able to own a bakery. So I asked you guys on Twitter if it would be okay if maybe we use some money cheats to build a bakery, and a lot of people are actually saying yes, and I'm moving my microphone. There we go. Um, a lot of people are actually actually saying it yes, so I think that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. So my next, like, well, I don't know if it's gonna necessarily be my next video, but my upcoming video will definitely be a speed build of that. And then we'll have part eight of this Let's Play. But that is kinda what I'm thinking I'm gonna do right now, just cause it's gonna take us a really long time to get that bakery up and running. And it's a little bit boring to do that in a Let's Play, so you know. But we're gonna go ahead and have Antonio sell his painting to a collector, which was worth 212 simoleons. Which, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, that may basically means he doubled his money. Or like he broke even in the- yeah, he doubled his money because it cost 100 simoleons to buy the canvas thingy. So, and then in two, that's math. That was my lesson in math today, apparently. Don't wash those dishes, girl! We gotta sell them. You gotta sell them. She has to bring them here, apparently. Can we just stick these in the inventory? I still don't know. Is there a shortcut to go up? I really gotta learn that. Like, real bad. Can you put these in your inventory? Do I actually have a sink in the kitchen? I do. I don't know why they always try to go down here. If I tell you to clean them up, whatever. She's just gonna have to clean them up then. Oh, oh there we go. She'll bring them upstairs if I do that. Cool, cool. Okay, now stop. Oh, and apparently Antonio's gonna paint some more. Well, you know, you do you. You do you, Antonio. And we can throw that away. Okay, awesome. So, I want to invite someone over today. I think I want to invite Zoe over, because like I said, I think Antonio might be interested in her. Maybe. I mean, he was kind of interested in Liberty, but not like that much. I think it'd be cool if he got with Zoe, though, so... Did you finish painting? Oh yeah, he's painted this thing before. It's worth 154 simoleons, so we will go ahead and sell that. And then we will... Should we invite... Well, you know, we have stayed in yesterday, so why don't we invite her out somewhere? That would have to be travel with. What am I doing? Okay, travel with... Um, we can leave Lucia at home. Oh, should we take her? We'll leave her at home. And I want to have him invite Zoe. Last time we tried to invite her somewhere, she was busy. So, hopefully she's good with that, and it sounds like she is. So, where should we go? Um, I mean, we have the, what's this called? The Burton Bean, built by X Urban Sims X. I did replace this with a museum. That's really cool. There's some bars, but, I mean... It's not that late in the day, so I feel like it'd be kind of weird to go to a bar. But what about Oasis Springs? What do we got here? Oh, we have this little diner. That could be fun. This is like another bar. Actually, is this the bar it comes with? I don't remember. Um, a gym here. 
And this is actually a movie theater. Oh, I think it'd be cool to go here. Let's go to the movie theater. And I did download this lot off of the gallery. I did not make it, but it looked really cool. So I was like, you know what? I want to put this in my game. And I did. So we are traveling there. But after I film this part, I'm probably going to go ahead and build the bakery. Or maybe I'll film another part and then build the bakery. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But this is what it looks like like and I think I think this thing was supposed to be bigger but the sizing got messed up oh, that actually looks kind of funny because when I placed it it looked fine and I think there was stuff up here too wasn't there huh I don't know it looks a little weird it looks a little strange in game because it totally did not look like that hmm whatever anyway let's have they're just gonna talk anyway it doesn't really matter Let's have them go here. And hang out. Maybe they can go in here, actually. They'll go in this, like, bar area sort of thing. And here is Zoe. And this is what she looks like. So why don't we get to know her? I mean, I think he might be interested in her. I really don't know much about Zoe yet, but I want him to talk and get to know each other. She's cheerful. Okay, that is definitely a good thing, because I'd say Antonio is very cheerful also. So why don't we ask about her career and ask about her day. And then why don't we discuss our interests and talk about his dreams. She is a mixologist at the Blue Velvet. Ooh, that's cool. And why don't we boast about family? Um, there is... This guy here. Is that the muscular guy who's kind of fat? <laughs> I think it is. Oh, it's hilarious. Ooh, who is this bearded fellow? Kenneth. He's an adult, though, so I don't think we're interested in him for Lucia, but he's cool. He's got some, some swag. Looks a little hipstery. But that's all good. Um, Why don't we tell an engaging story to her? They're actually hitting it off really well. I'm kind of surprised. Well, not that surprised. A little surprised. A little surprised. Um, I want to get to know her more. Ask about her day. Um, have a deep conversation. I just really want to get to know her traits because we don't know that much about her, really. Give her a hug. Because where am I trying to find? I'm trying to find here. Where is she, Zoe? We only know she's cheerful. Oh, she's clumsy and cheerful. They, they could be kind of cute together from what we've learned about her so far. Um, are you going to hug her? Hopefully that's the thing you do. Good job. Good job hugging. Express your admiration and gossip. And uh, why don't you ask if she's single? That's probably a good thing to do. Because if she's not single, then we're going to have to do some convincing here. But so far, she seems like a cool lady. There's no trace that I've seen that I'm like, no way, they're not going to get together. So far, it's been all good. So, we're going to see how this goes. Trying to play it by ear, as they say. Zoe is single. Okay, this is working out quite well. So, why don't we discuss some fine cuisine? I forgot how to say the word for a minute. I think it's cuisine. Pretty sure. We could ask her to move in. No, we're not going to do that. What was it? Discuss? Yes, discuss. Discuss admiration, I believe, is what I was trying to say. Discuss? What was I trying to I don't even know what I was trying to say. Express admiration. That is what I was trying to say. Whew. Don't know English. Why don't we hug her? And... Um, what is his name? Vicente? Vicente is feeling real flirty. Wow, Vicente. Oh, some slider issues are just... They're happening. Antonio has reached level 2 of the charisma skill. Um, I don't really want him to be too, too romantic, but maybe give her... Do a little flirting. Because I want them to take it a little bit slow, but you know... I think he kind of wants her to know she's... What? Wrong... <laughs> wrong person. I think he kind of wants her to know he's interested. Yep, that's a... Ooh, did he not like that? Did he not like that? 
Or yeah. she! Oh my gosh, did she not? <gasps> Zoe did not like that. Wow, she's a little hesitant. Um, how about we have a deep conversation? I don't know. That was. Oh, I thought she was like totally feeding into it, and then she's like, no. Zoe is playing a little hard to get. I see how it goes. I see how it goes. I really want to learn her third trait. Why can't we get to know her? I want to get to know her. If we do deep conversation, do we learn traits? I'm not sure. Who else is here? Anyone else of interest, really? No. I like how we're in the bar and it's like noon. <laughs> you know, that's, that's just how we do. That is how we do. What are you guys talking about? Having a deep conversation. Oh, I see. Um, why don't we do an inside joke? Are they friends yet? I think they might be friends. Yes, they are friends. Cool, cool. What was that? He made some, some chicken noises there. That's pretty great. Um, compliment her appearance. You know, let's... I just want to get him a little bit flirty. Definitely not like kissing or starting a like real romantic relationship. Just a little bit of flirtatiousness. Just so that she knows like this is a thing. <laughs> that hip thing, oh my gosh. Just so that... Koof around, they're so cute. Just so that she knows he's interested. Do a smooth recovery here. Do you need to do a smooth recovery? I didn't even know he needed to recover. Ah! <laughs> that was being real smooth, right? Real smooth. Flirt? Zoe is flirty right now. Awesome. And... We could ask her on a date. Okay, I'm not gonna do that, but let's be like... I'm kind of attracted to you. You know? Zoe, uh, I'm a little bit attracted. She's like, hey. I just want to get their, like, romance bar up a tiny bit, so why don't we do a little embrace? Which might be taking it too far, but I want to try it. And then we'll probably say goodbye after that. What are you doing? I didn't- what? I did not tell you to tell an engaging story. Okay, he's gonna go flirt with her. See, he did it autonomously. I think that's a word. Autonomously? Maybe. So I didn't even have to tell him and he already, like, went and flirted. Where'd she go? Where did she go? Oh, she went all the way over here? What? Girl, are they flirting from, like, across the building? Like, there are walls in between this and they're flirting. Oh, oh dear. Anyway. Why don't we- he could do a first kiss, but I don't really want to do that. So, we should... Have him blow a kiss. I think that'd be pretty great. Is he gonna blow a kiss from all the way over here? Oh, yeah he is, and it looked like he was blowing a kiss towards Eva Slade, so... Uh, that's pretty great. But then I think we should probably get going. Can we say goodbye or anything? Before we go? Oh, what if we offered her a rose? That'd be cute. He better not offer her a rose from all the way over here. He better walk over. Because he looks like he's talking to himself. Antonio looks psycho right now. He's like legit. Legit talking to himself. Give her a rose. Give her a rose. Antonio. 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 Is he over here now? Oh, there we go. Oh! Wait, did she not like that? Oh, it was awkward. Aww. Can we do a smooth recovery? There we go. Let's do a smooth recovery. Do a smooth recovery. Smooth recovery. Sm what are you doing? Oh, dear. Okay, I think she might be going to work. Okay, let's just... Oh, goodness. So, how did that go? <laughs> Well, they're still friends, and there's a little bit of romantic in there, so I think that's a good start to the relationship. I don't know her third trait, but oh, he looks so sad because he's embarrassed. He wants to become flirty. Yeah, no. Oh, he wants to kiss Zoe. Oh, he's so sweet. Um, yeah, I don't know if Zoe's, like, the one for him yet, but we'll see. She's, like, prancing out of there. <laughs> She's adorable. Um, anyway, I think we can head home now. Unless there's any, like, anything I want to grab or anyone else interesting walking around. Who's this? Angie? 
Um, I don't, we already talked to Zoe. I don't want to, <laughs> like, just move directly on to the next woman. Wo woman. Not women. Singular. That's a... She's wearing a stylish hat there. Rose. Sometime... At, the, at, <laughs> at some point, we're going to have to go to this diner because I found it on the gallery and it looks really cool. So we're going to have to check it out. But I think we can just go ahead and head home. So he can do some painting and stuff. So let's travel. Or actually, I can just click that. And to ravel on home. Oh, she's totally, like, prancing out of there. Like, she's just, she's probably head over heels, maybe. I don't know. She's already so pretty, but I'd love to give her a makeover at some point. We're, hmm, <clears throat> ah, voice. Um, he wants to share his insecurities with someone. Oh, it's, I mean, the day was going pretty well until then. Who's this guy? Oh, yeah, no thanks. He's a young adult. I gave him a makeover, he probably could be pretty attractive. Oh, there's a thing to collect. Hold on. Before you go home, you need to dig that up. But he seems pretty head over heels for Zoe. I mean, he wants to kiss her already. I think they actually have a lot in common. Oh, he dug up a treasure map. But I think they do have a lot in, co in common, so we will see what comes with their relationship. But I do want them to take it kind of slow because, you know, this let's play is mostly about their careers and I don't want it to be, like, totally, like, relationships and family-based, but we will see what happens. So, actually, why don't you do some baking, Antonio? Um, some of the new things he can make are plain bagels, whole, whole, I don't know why I can't say whole, whole wheat loaf. I did it in the last part, too. I don't understand. Um, an onion bagel or some fruit pie. Ooh, maybe we could start a garden. That'd be kind of fun because we could, you know, grow stuff for a fruit pie. But for now, he can go ahead. Oh, and we can also do blueberry bagels and peanut butter cookies. I didn't see, I didn't see them at first. Um, why don't you do some blueberry bagels? I don't know why, because they look good. And can we breed our frogs? Oh, not yet. Okay. Um, as for you, Lucia, I'll just have her do some fishing. Fish with bait? I don't want you to fish with one of our frogs. Those frogs are valuable. You cannot fish with one of those frogs. Or, you know, we have this garden over here. I wonder if we could harvest any of it. Oh, we can! Awesome! We don't even have to have our own garden. We'll just steal our neighbor's fruit, because I'm sure they love that. Is this... But this garden technically doesn't, like, belong to anyone, right? It's just, like, a community garden. Because how would you feel if you just saw some random stranger in your backyard, like, stealing your fruit? That'd probably be a little weird. You know, why don't you give Lucia this treasure map? Maybe can she use it to dig this? Dig for treasure. Lucia has acquired the gardening skill. That's real cool. So maybe he can bake a pie. We're gonna have Lucia run around and, you know, get some collectibles. Look for treasure. We found an eggplant frog and an egg. Lots of eggs. Um, it's not worth anything, really. We'll sell it. Got some strawberries here. Oh, is there anything else to harvest? Yeah, harvest everything, girl. Well, we don't really need to harvest the flowers, but mostly just the fruit. This, the, these are both, um, what's it called? Flowers, so we don't really need to harvest them. And we got a capsule, so we will open that up. As for Antonio, no, don't eat some of the bagels you just baked. <laughs> What are you doing? Okay, grab a serving of those and we'll toss this because we don't really need to keep it on hand. We have plenty of food right now. And then we will have to put this away. Lucia found one striped eggplant frog and another egg. I don't know if this one, no, it's not worth very much, so we'll sell that also. And then, you know, why don't you... Oh, my timer. I didn't even... How long has that been going off for? Hopefully not very long, because I did not even notice it was going off. But we'll give him some fruit and help to bake a fruit pie soon. Lucia found one buddy, which is probably not worth much. Yep. Okay. A plus, Macy. Round of applause. I've done great. So, after that... I don't know. I say so really weird sometimes. I'm like, so... Oh, we can paint from reference now. That's cool. We'll have to do that. I don't really need to do it, like, now. 
But maybe later. Because right now I'm really just having a paint to make money. <laughs> to be honest. So uh, why don't you do a small classic painting? And we'll get rid of that plate. Lucia is just now getting home. So we'll have her do some fishing. And she can actually fish with bait now. So we'll have her fish with some strawberry. And she wants to take a vacation day. Girl, no! This whole Let's Play is centered around your jobs. We're not taking a vacation day. Um, he has Reach Painting level 4. Good job, Antonio. Antonio is, like, such a natural at painting. I think it's because he's creative or something. Like, he's just, like, flying through the painting levels. It's pretty great. Who are these people? <laughs> Look at the way Malcolm walks. Oh, dear. And Emmanuel is also a teen. Just trying to see if we got anyone interesting in our neighborhood. A lot of children walking around who we probably shouldn't get involved with because some might call the police. True, true. Um, this is a... She's a teen, but goodness, she's fabulous, isn't she? Look at that outfit there. <laughs> <clears throat> My voice is just... Disappearing. Okay. <clears throat> Ahem. Does it bother you when I do that? Because you're welcome. Ha ha. <clears throat> Voice. Stay with me. How is fishing going, Lucia? Caught anything? She caught an apple. Wonderful. Well, we can make pie with it, so it's all good. Oh, did you finish your painting? It's a little watermelon and apples. Okay, that's cool. So we'll go ahead and sell that. And terrible food. Was, did he make, like, bad bagels? They're okay quality. They're not that bad, Antonio. Calm yourself. But I want to bake a fruit pie because we do have a strawberry to make that pie with. So we're going to go ahead and whip that on up. And, oh, we have this to collect. Why don't we go ahead and dig for that in a minute? Is Lucia getting hungry? No, she's actually pretty good with her needs. That's good. So, I'm trying to decide if I want to film another part, and then... No, I think after this part, I'm going to go ahead and do the building. Yeah, so by part... The next part, which should be part 8, I believe, they'll have the bakery built, and I will pick a name from the comments that you guys have suggested. Well, I'm assuming if everyone responded uh, positively on Twitter about the building of it. Which I can check right now. Every, every, nah, everyone, see, I was going to say, every seems to be okay, which shouldn't make sense. But everyone seems to be okay with the idea. And yes. So, by part eight, we will have our bakery built. I already said that. I don't need to reiterate. Oh, here is our pie. At least it's not fish pie this time. So, it just is a fruit pie, but we know it's strawberry pie. So, oh, and also, I will probably redecorate the house a little bit with some of the bakery money, so sorry if you don't like using money cheats. I know plenty of people don't. I really don't like using them, but just for the purposes of a Let's Play, like, if I was playing my own current household, I probably wouldn't really do it because, you know, I like the struggle. <laughs> Sounds strange. I like the struggle for money. And when I'm playing my current household, you know, most of the time I'll, like, skip through the day a lot. But during Let's Plays, I like to, you know, slow things down and explain and really come up with the storyline. So I feel like, you know, the making money is going to take a while. And we've actually earned quite a bit from doing what we are doing. So I think that's a good enough effort. And we'll just use some money. We'll just say we got some inheritance. You know, I'll figure something out of how they made the money. Some kind of thing that goes along with the story, but I think this part's actually been pretty long. So I am going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. So, yes, make sure to subscribe. I will talk to you all later, and yeah, bye!